Researchers looked at two groups, patients living in western New York with mild to moderate MS and patients with severe MS living at the Boston home in Massachusetts, a long-term care facility. UB's comprehensive assessment of severely affected MS found that while white matter lesions in the brain are commonly studied to track the progression of MS, gray matter atrophy is a better way to monitor severe physical and cognitive disability. The results also show new technology could make it easier to gather data from people with severe MS. The goal is to figure out where people are on their MS journey so researchers know which drugs might be able to help them. And while that data is valuable, there's also the human element. The study matched up people from the Western New York group with mild and moderate MS with people from the Boston group with severe MS. It's uh, really heartbreaking uh, that they come to understand, you know, who, who their research counterpart was and how he's doing and what problems uh, he, she or is, is facing. After the study became public, they started asking if they could meet their matches, and the ethical committee said yes. It was nice to meet you, baby. It was nice to meet you too, Sarah. Yeah. I, I'll be praying for you and uh, thinking about you. Yeah. Virginia Thompson was diagnosed with MS 25 years ago. She's one of the 53 people from here in the study. I'm always willing for studies because I've always wanted to help people because I've had help and so I want other people to be able to research and find out what's going on and try to get, get a cure for it. She says if you are diagnosed with MS, having a strong support system is important and she enjoyed meeting her match, Sarah. It was wonderful to meet her. She was such a sweet lady and um, we got to click them kind of are like twins, like they said, you know. Um, started around the same time, I think I started maybe a year or two before her with MS. And uh, we all, we both worked for a while and uh, so we couldn't work anymore. So, yeah. it, was, it was nice to see someone who going through the struggle like you are. And phase two is expected to start next year. Researchers are applying for federal funding. They are also accepting private donations. For more information, just look for this story on our app, app and website. On your side, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.